This tutorial is a step-by-step -step guide on how to modify your Wasabi LPE6 Cannon Charger so that you can keep your GoPro powered on for at least two hours. Here's what you'll need. A Canon LPE6 Wasabi Power Battery Charger, a Rioround LM2596DC to DC butt converter, a Mini B USB cable, soldering iron, wire cutters, 20 gauge hookup wire, and electrical tape. You can find this charger on Amazon for about $30 and it comes with two LPE6 batteries. First, let's remove the two screws on the back of the charger. Pull apart the charger, then cut the two cables coming out of the back of the faceplate closer to the circuit board. Remove the circuit board as we will not be needing it later. Forcefully remove the wall plug with a screwdriver, as we won't be needing that either. Now desolder the two cables coming out of the back of the faceplate, then replace those with at least 2-3 to three inches of the hookup wire. Now grab your butt converter. This will lower the voltage from around 7 volts on the LPE6 battery to around 5 volts, which is much safer for the GoPro. Now solder the two power cables to the input on the buck converter. Now you want to connect up an electrical meter to the output on the buck converter so that you can set it to the correct voltage. To do this, use a small flathead screwdriver to twist the small screw on the buck converter until the voltage is around 5 volts. Now grab your mini B USB cable and cut off the USB part of the cable. Pull back the shielding and cut it off. Now separate your data cables from the power cables and cut the data cables off. Strip the two power cables and solder them to the output on the buck converter. Now give it a test. You can also remove the small plastic piece from the other piece of the cable and use it so that your cable does not pull on the components inside the charger. Now put everything back together. It may take a few tries because the buck converter has to fit in there just right. Put your screws back in and you're good to go. Keep in mind that you'll have to have the GoPro battery installed for this to work. Thanks for watching and feel free to follow me on Twitter at EthanShots or subscribe and comment below. Thank you.